Hi, this is Vinny Chopra. Thank you again going through all the modules and I hope you're enjoying them. Please give us, you know, five star rating and comments and maybe if we can improve on certain areas, let us know that too. Today, I'm going to talk about property management company. It's so important that we choose the right property management company in the group type that you're going to be buying the properties. Like if it's a 10 unit, 8 unit or 12 units or 15 units, you want to get a local property management company that's going to do a good job for you. And they will be able to take over the asset the day of the closing and have the manager, uh, we call them managing the managers, you know, property manager will be part time for smaller number of units. The leasing agent will be able to lease and then maintenance person will be able to help you take care of the work orders. So for smaller units, you definitely want to find out a property management that specializes in those kind, kind of number of units. If you're buying 50 units or 75 or 100 units, you want a little more sophisticated property management company that's going to be more on the uh, cutting edge of, of course, leasing, the website, uh, the, you know, collecting rents online on the website also. And plus they're more structured in the management of that business too. They will have a community manager probably full time for 70 to 80 to 100 units, which they will be able to hire or bring them, you know, from their other properties, their joining properties to be at your property. And then a lead maintenance also at that level is worthwhile to have a HVAC certified, you know, that's the heating and uh, cooling system, you know, certified so that you don't have to go money, give money to the outside contractors. And those two people will be most important in the 70 units range. At 100, you definitely want a part-time leasing agent also that the property management company should be able to help you with. But the big thing is what you, we are paying them three and a half or 4%, you know, it's called the property management fee per month for the total rents collected. How did you find these kind of properties? The, the biggest thing is you can do Google into the area and say multifamily property management companies or mid-size property management companies uh, of, uh, you know, managing apartments and then put the zip code where you are buying that property. Many times I find some great, great property management companies who are in the same zip code. They show up in the Google and that's amazing. Then you can start asking them questions and get to know. And by the way, we have a 34 uh, different items in a list. Uh, I hope you will look at that attachment right there, download it and just understand what questions you need to ask your property management company to really decide on the right one. And it's good to take notes from four, five, six companies and then compare, sit down with your team, your partner, and then you say, you know what, I think this is the one that has the right uh, ethics and uh, trustworthiness and, you know, they are controlling so many units in the same group type, they'll give us the best of the best, you know, as we give them property management and so on. The other part is how much are they uh, marketing budget? You know, you want to talk to them. Uh, leasing, how much do they charge for leasing and all? And the software they use that you, they'll be putting your property onto their software. How is their accounts payable? You know, and how much do they charge extra fees for the accounting and bookkeeping over and above, you know, your uh, invoices that will be coming to the property. The other thing is their bonus structure, their bonuses, their 401k and their, you know, uh, it's called like a benefit package. Uh, do they give medical and dental all that you want to find out upfront so that you are not taken by surprise when they start charging you, you know, the hourly rate for the uh, team members, I call it, not employees, but also 25% or 33% on top of their hourly wage, they will charge as a benefit package. 
So all those things are very, very important as you decide on the right property management company. But please do download that uh, Excel worksheet that we have designed for you to make it happen for you. Good luck to you. Bye-bye.